Alright, welcome back, ladies and germs, ladies and gentlemen, all that good stuff. Um, today, we are just kind of racing around in a GT4 car, which, I'm not going to lie, felt a little gross, to be totally honest. Like, they just felt very draggy and slow. And it was from Will, uh, World Sim Series, which totally fine, they make great cars. Um, I couldn't tune anything to, like, try and make it more to my liking but that's neither here nor there that's not really what i wanted to talk to you guys about what i wanted to talk to you guys about is what we know about ace or a set of course at evo so the release date is going to be january 16th or at least that's the estimated one on steam right um something that i saw that was concerning though is in the sim what is it called like it was like a sim gathering like whatever it is uh, um, of just like Fenatec, Sim Magic, just a bunch of bunch of different things, right? It's like when all of the video game. It, it was kind of like a. Oh my god, it's kind of like Comic Con, but for car people, <laughs> I guess. Um, but no. So one of the things that they said that scared me was, you know, they said let us work on the game, which makes me feel like they're not going to be very mod friendly which is very concerning because if you look at a set of corsa and its history throughout the years that has been literally the entire community is modders making the game better and better and better and not only that if you look at games like car x mods have even started coming out there and i think i think two things right I think one thing is, on, like on one hand, I think it's better to let the game manufacturer do it for themselves, right? Like they obviously are have been making this game, it's been in development, it looks great, it looks crisp, and like this stuff doesn't happen overnight, right? Like they obviously have hired professional people to get in there and do this. Now on the other hand, if you look at games like Skyrim, who have inputted, or like made mods available in the game for people to upload to you know skyrim's older than a set of corsa is by like several years i believe and that game is still well alive and kicking you know what i mean it's not even online like there are online mods for it but like it's not even an online game and there's still like thousands of people that play it hundreds of thousands i'd imagine so I don't know if this is going to be the killer uh, of it or if it's going to be the next generation and it's going to be fine and dandy and great. So where does that leave us, right? Well, I haven't seen anything as far as drifting goes, right? Well, not sure what else we can really do about that because without information, I can't really talk to you guys about anything. I hope there's drifting. I assume there is, right? There's drifting challenges in the initial set of Corsa. So I can't imagine there's going to be different is there right like i can say how much i want more of a formula scene i can say how much i want this and that and the other thing right but it i don't know I, it almost makes me feel as like a like you know kind of a consumer i guess like that they just don't care about not that they don't care that about what we want but like that they're like look i think they're asking us to trust them right and I, I'm going to go ahead and put my faith in them because I would love for the moderators to be able to sit back and enjoy the game and maybe use their skills skills for other stuff, right? Or maybe they just keep developing a set of Corsa and we can flip back and forth between games depending on what we're feeling, right? And I wonder, I can't help but wonder if a set of Corsa uh, is actually going to go in the direction of a dedicated formula like formula or open wheel game of like a and then a, its own separate gt3 game kind of like what they did with the set of course of competition right which would be a very interesting thing thing to see so as far as what we can expect i don't know it makes me wonder if it's going to go in the direction of like gran turismo or forza motorsport because that's what a lot was talked about at the at the sim conference or whatever it's called so i don't know i'm excited and i i just need it i can't wait i want information i want to get my hands on it you know so on and so forth so anyway 
I am going to be going back to iRacing instead of um, Sim, uh, what is it called? W, uh, World Sim Series. Because I was hoping once I got my amateur license, which I did, by the way, um, I was hoping once I got that I would have more options, but I do not, which is mildly, I don't want to say like I'm mad about it, but it's just like I'm annoyed. I guess because it's like on iRacing I can jump into like open wheel races pretty much right away so there's not much I can do about that so with all that being said and done I appreciate you guys listening to me and I will see you in the next video with some car x bye